Today we're in the city of Santa Monica looking at Terrapin Crossings, a collection of three newly constructed luxury residences that showcase the highest attention to detail, imported finishes, and complete smart home luxury amenities. The home we are specifically walking through today features a total of four bedrooms, five bathrooms, 3,248 square feet of interior space, separate indoor garages for each unit, includes over a thousand square feet of space up on the rooftop deck, and is priced at I also want to thank the listing agents for letting me tour their beautiful listing. Now this home that we're checking out is located on the back side of the building, so let's head down the walkway on the right side and start the tour. All right, we're walking through the front of this unit on the side of the building. One of the units is to my left, up a couple of steps. Through this private gate, the front door is to my right, so follow me inside and we're going to be greeted by one of the listing agents, Nicole. Hi. Hi. Hi everyone, I'm Nicole. Welcome to my newest listing in Santa Monica. It is four bed, five bath, listed at 4195. Come check it out. Thank you. So as we're inside this unit, you can see the open concept floor plan, the stairs to my right that go all the way up to an insane rooftop deck that, my favorite part of the house, honestly. You guys don't wanna miss that. But here we have your living room, dining area, and kitchen. Leads to some outdoor space through the Fleetwood pocket doors. But before we show you all of this, we're gonna go downstairs actually and show you the basement level movie theater room. All right, down the stairs, this is it. Your own private movie theater room, flat screen TV on the wall, recessed lights, built in speakers, a very private space just to hang out, watch your favorite TV show, movie, maybe watch a sporting event. And there is a full bathroom in here. Well, I actually lied, not a full bathroom. This is a half bath powder room. A lot of space though, toilet tucked in the corner. This sink is actually able to be hooked up to a hose so you can wash your car conveniently on the other side in the garage over there that we're gonna check out right now. So follow me, wrap around this wall. This is the door that leads into the garage and this is a six car garage. You guys don't see many six car garages even in 10 plus million dollar houses but here in Santa Monica is your private six car garage. Let me give you a quick glimpse of this. All right, now let's head back up and show you the main level, the open concept living space. All right, so here we are, and one thing about this home is that it is fully wired for your highest end security. Motion sensor throughout the entire property, the best security system you could possibly imagine, because you're gonna want that. You're gonna want the best security if you're gonna pay this price in Santa Monica. But we have your living room, family area with a fireplace, built-in speakers throughout, Lutron recessed lighting, dining room, Light fixture right above the dining table, modern light fixture. And let's just head right into your beautiful chef's kitchen with the large quartz center island. You have breakfast bar seating on three sides, two to both sides of me, and then one directly in front. And I love just the brightness in here. Everything is super white, making it super modern. You know, the brighter colors are gonna brighten up your day, obviously, so just take a look at this. Natural sunlight is coming in through these Fleetwood windows right above your sink area. The faucets are amazing. Look at this sink sprayer. This is one of the most high-end sink sprayers I've seen. It's, it looks gold, honestly. But as we keep moving around, we have Wolf and Sub-Zero appliances, six burner gas stove, love the square tiled texture on the backsplash throughout. It goes all the way up to the ceiling. Modern cabinetry, very sleek, very modern. And even the hood vent just completely blends in. You don't even notice it above the six burner gas stove. Microwave is into the center island right there. And one cool thing that they did do in here is that they made these cabinets with outlets so that you can put all your appliances in here, maybe your toaster, another microwave, 
and hook it up, close it off so it doesn't just get in the way of everything. And you can see the LED light strips in there as well. So you can actually see when you're reaching in to grab any essentials in the cabinet space. But here is where your pantry area would be. And on the other side, fridge and freezer, Sub-Zero fridge, freezer compartments down here below. I like the matte black handles that we'll see. And one more thing I almost forgot is because it blends in so nicely is this dishwasher right here. This is a Miele dishwasher, brand new, and you have right here for all of your utensils. Very easy to clean, you don't have to do a whole lot, but this is one of the most expensive dishwashers you can have, and obviously you want it in your house, and it's sleek, it doesn't have the stainless steel finish, so it just blends in with everything else. But that was it here in this kitchen, let's walk past and show you the powder room over here. All right, so here we go. Here's the powder room for your main level. I love the stonework on the floating vanity. There's no cabin space down below. It's fully floating. The sink fixtures are beautiful right there. It's a great touch. Toilet is tucked in the corner. There's a good amount of space in here. Perfect for your powder room. And right outside the powder room door, you even have a little bit of storage. And as we keep moving on, there is one bedroom here on this main level, which is the office. All right, so this is your office room, or it could be a guest bedroom. And one cool thing that they did mention about this office is that if you have any clients or guests that you want to come in, have a business meeting, an office meeting, they can just come around through the side of your house, through the back, enter in through these Fleetwood pocket doors, and arrive to your office without having to walk into your entire house. You can have a meeting with them in this room, close it off, make it super private to them. I love all the cabinetry, very modern, very sleek, just blends into the wall, you don't even notice it. And there's some storage space in this nook so you can turn it into a library as they've done right here. But now let's head into the bathroom because there is a full bathroom. The developer did a great job with all the finishes in this house. Look at this vanity, a different beige toned stone on the countertops and you have sleek wood finishes down in the drawers below. You do have a niche right next to the sink area on the left side and a medicine cabinet right above the sink as well. It's always convenient. You don't see too many medicine cabinets these days, but I think every bathroom needs one. And there's also a full shower with nice polyester tiled walls, floor to ceiling, floating shower bench on the right, different stone on the floors, and of course a nice matte black shower head and the rain handheld shower head as well. Always gotta test these out. But that was it in here. Now let's show you guys a little bit of what the outdoor space looks like because that is unique to this unit alone. Okay, indoor outdoor flow in your office space, Fleetwood pocket doors go completely into the wall as well as in the living room area. But here we are in your private outdoor space. Look at this. There are three total single family homes here in this building. And at first glance, you guys might think that these are townhomes, but they're not. There's actually six inches between the walls, which technically make them single family homes. So that's what you have here, three single family homes. This is the biggest one. And this is the only one with outdoor space like this because it's very private in the back side of the building. And you actually could build a lap pool right here, which is what they're telling all the buyers. This would be a nice space for a lap pool, maybe a jacuzzi to just hang out in private. These trees will also grow a bit higher to make it even more private back here. Another cool feature they did with the walls that they made it as the same steel that you see on the exterior of the home. They didn't just stick with the plain old boring wood walls that you'll see throughout a lot of these houses. But there's plenty of room out here. You can do whatever you want. Put a barbecue grill out here, a couple more seats, lounge spaces, and just hang out, enjoy the day. Not a cloud in the sky. Well, maybe a couple, but it is what it is. Beautiful day in LA as always. Okay, back inside. Now we just have to go upstairs, show you the rest of the bedrooms, and then that rooftop deck is insane. We're gonna spend a little bit of time up there, but follow me up the stairs. All right, we head up the stairs. We have these glass railings and the wood floorings throughout, and this is a great view of your stairwell. There are four stories, goes all the way up to the rooftop. You have a beautiful skylight, more oversized windows bringing in and tons of natural sunlight. And here's the first door leading into the primary bedroom actually is the first bedroom up here. So follow me. Here it is, your primary bedroom. You have a California king size bed. You have a private balcony. You have high ceilings, multiple built-in speakers, recessed lighting, of course. And your walk-in closet is tucked over in this corner here. Here's your full walk-in closet. You can customize it, move everything you want to your design. 
I am a big fan of this light fixture as well. We see some of these in other houses in the four plus million dollar range, but I think it adds a nice touch. You also have LED light strips on the bottom of some of your cabinet, of some of the shelf space in here, but that's it. Yeah, nice closet. Let's show you this bathroom. All right, here we are, your spacious primary bathroom, dual vanities, sleek white countertops with the same white oak wood finishes in the drawer space, and you have some storage down below in your towels. Love the flooring and the stone in here, and you see massive freestanding tub, motion sensor lights above the two mirrors, and also you have a smart bathtub, the Toto Smart Bathtub right there, opens up as soon as you walk in. Look at that, you have all the details, all the features you need in a toilet. And last but not least, obviously this shower has to be better than the last shower I walked into because it's your primary bathroom shower, glass door, custom shower bench over on this side. I love the stonework throughout, large shower niche right here. And this shower head is unique. You don't see it looking like that too much in that design. Normally it'll just hang down from the ceiling right next to the recessed lighting. But this makes it look more extravagant in here. And last but not least, obviously, the handheld one. Look at that. Gotta have it in your shower. You do have a couple of built-in speakers, so you don't have to play your phone when you're in your shower. Are you guys one of those people that are playing your phone, playing some music on your phone when you're in the shower? I know I'm not. I'm putting it on my speakers on my ceiling. Before you leave your bedroom, there is a security system also for your bedroom, so you know if anything is happening in here, obviously. You gotta, you gotta be ready right there, an alarm system. So let's keep going. All right, walking by the staircase, you do have one door with a motion sensor light, Son tons of storage in there, oh my gosh. Goes all the way underneath. Maybe that can be a, a room for your dog. Look at that, there's plenty of space down below. Wow, that's a, that's a unique closet. Haven't even seen that before. But here we are, you're already in the second bedroom. This is it right here. Good amount of space. You have a fan above, recessed lighting, windows to bring in natural sunlight. Here's where your closet space is. You have the sleek matte black handles, motion sensor closets again. Everything is motion sensored in this house. Right as I open this door, the LED lights turn on automatically. Just makes it easier for everyone. So you don't have to open your closet, click a button. It just makes life easier because that's what you're paying for, convenience. Let's keep moving and show you the next bathroom. I'm a big fan of this bathroom, honestly, because it is not just your ordinary look. They didn't just say sink, toilet, tub, shower. They went a little bit all out with this space over here. Some nice storage space in these drawers. You have some countertop space on this side of your shower. The floors have a very unique pattern to it. And then we have, of course, the high-end finishes, motion sensored light above the mirror. Bathtub built into the shower. That is a larger bathtub than you normally see. Then you have linear tile from your bathtub going up to the ceiling. It matches with the gray theme that you've been seeing throughout this upstairs level and this bathroom, of course. Then you have a large skylight in here. You just have everything you'd want in a bathroom, in my opinion. Large chrome rain shower head and a handheld one, of course. Don't need to mess with that one for the third time in this video, but let's keep moving and show you the last bedroom up here. Here's the last bedroom, pretty standard bedroom, but you have a unique light fixture above. This, these are a little bit higher ceilings that I've been seeing, honestly. It's very bright as well. I think this room probably gets the most natural sunlight. Same finishes in the modern closet space directly in front of me, and then you have a private balcony I'm a big fan of this bedroom because it is all the way in the back of this level, very private, and you have a private balcony that we're gonna walk out to real quick. So the balcony overlooks that private backyard area, and there's a good amount of room. You can maybe have your own barbecue grill, put a couple of lounge chairs, do a bit of reading, look up at the sun, enjoy your morning coffee, just hang out in peace and private in your own personal space. But that was everything here. Okay, that was everything for all four of the bedrooms in this single family home. But before we go upstairs, you do have this, which is always important. You have to have the essentials. Your laundry room, you got Maytag appliances in your washer and your dryer. Cabinet space, countertop space, space for you to walk in and hang out. Why would you wanna hang out in your laundry room when you have a rooftop deck? Let's just go up there right now. 
All right, walking up the stairs to the final level. Look at this view right here of all this open space as we head up to the rooftop. You have your skylight, you have a couple of windows to bring in natural sunlight as you see the sunlight on your rooftop deck. So check this out. All right, we're heading out. Look at this. This is your rooftop deck. Now immediately you're gonna see something unique. It's the solar paneled trellis directly above me, covering all this space, outdoor dining, outdoor living. You have a super large light just right in the center of this covered area right here. And then you have a full kitchen. You have your sink, you have your Sedonia Lynx barbecue grill, beautiful green countertops, I love it. And then you have views of the Hollywood Hills. You have views of the Pacific Ocean. And I like how it cuts off over in this corner. You have some private space as well. All three single family homes in this building have a rooftop deck, but this one is actually twice the size as the other two. And I'm sure you can see why that people absolutely love this building and this design. The developer, I'm gonna keep saying it, did an amazing job. You don't see rooftop decks like this on these kind of homes, especially new builds here in Santa Monica. This is one of a kind. So you have even more space over on this side of the house and the entire backyard side of this building is private to this unit. You look down onto the private outdoor area on the first level, but now we're up on your rooftop deck. So there's tons of space over 3000 square feet on the interior, not including the 1200 square feet up on your rooftop deck. Beautiful palm trees throughout behind me. Look at that, I didn't even notice. This must be a great shot for you guys that you're seeing right now. But that was everything up here on your rooftop deck in Santa Monica. Just, I'm a big fan. I was honestly surprised when I arrived here. This place blew me away, honestly. Thank you so much to the listing agents, Nicole and Naisha for letting me tour this incredible listing. Also hit the like button if you guys haven't hit the like button already. Subscribe, if you're not subscribed, what are you doing? You're gonna see beautiful homes throughout LA every single week. And I will see you guys on the next one. Comment below what you thought of this one. Peace.